All right, folks, game day preview time. The opponent, the Coyotes from the University of South Dakota. They're one and three coming in. They've lost three in a row. Cole Jurek, let's start with their offensive side of the football. This is a group that has been a tempo team. They like to go fast, and they'll boast a freshman quarterback. Pretty good player, young player in Carson Camp overall. Let's start with the challenges of tempo. What are the items there that can give a defense a problem from what we see from USD on the offensive side? You know, tempo can always be challenging. You know, obviously we'll see the health of Jackson Hankey. If you're missing your middle linebacker, if you can't get lined up correctly, tempo can kill you. Uh, and that's what they're trying to upspeed that tempo for is to try to get you out of position, catch you out, you know, missing a block or missing a, a fit. And like we saw last week, one missed fit can go for 70 yards and a touchdown. Yeah. And, and that's what they're trying to do with that tempo down in South Dakota. Yep, two physical backs, Kai Henry, heck of a player. Player, over 2,000 career rushing yards. Travis Tice as well is really coming along for the uh, the USD offense. Their offensive line a little banged up. Mason Scheidegger, who's their top offensive lineman, lost for the spring with an ankle injury. So maybe Code Green can get some pressure on that freshman quarterback in Carson Camp. Here's Luke Wirtz talking about that tempo and some of the challenges and Dom Jones on facing the freshman QB, Carson Camp. Getting everyone on the same page. Obviously, they're going to try and hurry you up and get everyone out of out of alignments, and you know, just it's going to be a big a big deal for me. Obviously, being the mic, I got to get everyone on the same page, and if we're all doing the same thing and doing our one eleventh, we we can't be beat. The quarterback can scramble; he can make a lot of a lot of good throws. So definitely going to have to key on the quarterback, just his skill set. Well, flip over to the other side of the football, this USD defense, they're changing some things up. Another 3-4 look this week for the Bison offense and Tyler Roll, NDSU's offensive coordinator. Uh, didn't go greatly for them trying to stop the run last week at Youngstown State in the lost. They were outgained on the ground 303 to 12 in that contest. Would seem you never know in the spring, right? But you would like to think NDSU trying to really lean on them again up front could be an opportunity to run the football for the Bison. Yeah, I think NDSU found its identity. It's physical football, pound it between the hash marks or between the tackles and, and really try to get after teams. And if they're going to play up tempo, if we can force three and outs, that, that's going to be really difficult for their defense to stay fresh and stay healthy. And uh, that bodes very well for, for our offense to get rolling. Yeah, the last two matchups against this USD defense last year, a 49-14 win over the Coyotes in the Fargo Dome. Two years ago in the Dakota Dome, a 59-14 win for the Bison. So maybe some opportunities there for Zeb Nolan, Hunter Lupke, and these SNDSU offensive attack. Here's star wide receiver Christian Watson on the approach against this USD defense, getting ready for another opponent. Definitely see some talent um, on the defense. Um, I mean, we prepare for, you know, each and every game the same, whether, you know, it's the number one team in the nation or, you know, the, an unranked team. Uh, we're going to go into the week, uh, focus, and uh, be, ready, be ready to prepare, uh, regardless of who we're playing against. Um, and, and, I mean, we're playing in the Missouri Valley. We're going to see talent each and every week. So, um, you know, we prepare the same way. We prepare like we're preparing for the best team in the nation. So the Bison coming in with some momentum after the win against UND. The Coyotes, they're trying to stop the bleeding a little bit. They've lost three in a row. They're one and three. You, you don't want to look ahead. This might be a, a mental game for the herd, uh, focusing in on ourselves. Give me a key, some of your thoughts on carrying over the success from last weekend. Yeah, obviously, we saw this as a young team. Maturity has been a big issue. They've come a long way since that SIU loss. You know, they're going in this week. It's keeping it simple. If, mm -hmm. if they're going to play with tempo, got to keep it simple. Defensively, so you can get lined up. And offensively, keep it simple. Last week, it worked. Pound the rock, run the ball up the middle, and, and, and just get that play action pass going. So just keep it simple on both sides of the ball this week and continue what was rolling for us. Yep. NDSU, USD heading down to the newly renovated Dakota Dome. Interested in checking that out down in Vermilion. Kick time at 1 p.m. Our network pregame on the radio side at 12.30. And, of course, you've got the television coverage on the KVLY, NBC, North Dakota statewide network and worldwide on ESPN Plus as well. 1 p.m. kick, NDSU and USD. For Cole Jurek, big thanks to Cole Hine. I'm Jeff Colhane. It's been our opponent preview of the Coyotes of South Dakota.